Ready for the day? <laughs> Three hours later, yes I am. Yeah, we're pretty busy, but now we're gonna take a walk, right? Yes, so heading for a walk to get, a, get some steps in and then to Regenix. Uh, no, or no, 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 actually no, first. No, no, no. no. Donuts. Donuts, donuts, because it's Saturday and pick up a food is there. What up, what up, how are you, neighbor? Morning. How's it going? I am really sweaty. Uh, I have been posting, I've been commenting, and I just finished a call with my client while also um, messaging with five others. So it's a very, it's been a very busy walk. I hardly understood that it happened. It was crazy, yeah. It was fun. It was beautiful down by the beach. And now, even more fun, we're it, going for donuts. Treat day? It's a treat day. It's a food freedom day. Let's go. It's called a hockey bar and drops now. Okay. Are you gonna tell them this is your favorite spot? It is my favorite spot for cake donuts. It is. Okay, so Henrik and I, we have recorded sidecar for our Fit Couple Foodies page so many times and it's still one of the goats when it comes to cake donuts. And today we actually have two yeasted or one malasada, like a filled one and one yeasted, uh, a pecan pie. But you were gonna have to see that one on Fit Couple Foodies. Shit. But I am going to, in this video, take a bite of one of my all time all-time favorites which is the salted malted caramel this one has even become an ice cream on salt and straw they did a com uh, collaboration of that it's super cool and the thing is how can Ida look like look like that when she is eating like this this happens 10% of my entire intake across a whole year so 10% of your daily in not daily 10% <laughs> of your overall intake will not screw up anything it will just give you a uh, peace of mind some food freedom it's kind of nice it's kind of enjoyment and i kind of like it this way i've always done a treat days except for like three four weeks out from competition so it's how i do it and show I'm gonna... them again close up <sighs> okay that's a money shot i i need to take it with the cookie though yeah i don't know where to that's go super in. easy with your big mouth mm. Wow. Is it as good as always? The salt and malted? Oh yeah, it looks pretty. It looks like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. For the rest of it, pick up foodies. Tarsana is now. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? <laughs> Where did you go? Can I see shit in these? Every Uber ride. Every, like, so they love us. We're always talking and this time we actually, uh, he was big into, like he was a big music guy and then he was like, what language are you guys speaking? And we were like, Swedish. He's like, oh, do you like ABBA? And yes, we did, of course. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like ABBA? The winner takes it all. Comment down below. And we are back in Tarsana. I'm always bringing you to Tarsana. Isn't this fantastic? And I get like this big fall vibe right now. I don't know, the leaves on the ground. It is fall. It is fall. It's kind of chilly too. And we are going in to get some ivy done. Yo, <laughs> let's go in and do it. Are you getting an ivy? Yes, I am. She's hooking me up. You can figure it out. You're watching Bachelor. <laughs> I am not I'm watching Bachelor. Everyone else here is doing that. We have a, a nice vibe today. We're looking at drama. We need more drama in our lives. Are you going to film me just because I said I was tired now? <laughs> no, you adding um, uh, the most important antioxidant ever. Glutathione. Glutathione. Yeah. It's going down. Yeah, no, it's going going down for real. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> We see our next victim. Dude, how long have you been wanting to try this place? I don't even know how long. So, just around the corner from this place, we got, and I'm gonna show you the sign. It's, there uh, it is. It. Oh, it's no, you cannot still not see it because I'm too short. But it is a famous Japanese souffle pancake spot called Susie's. You might now be wondering if I am uh, feeling stuffed and full. No. <laughs> it's hard to stuff either, I can tell you that. I am uh, not some, full. It sounds really weird. You made it sound weird. It was actually not weird until you said that. 
Well, you, he always does that. It's um, the, the more, it's more so that I'm extremely tired. Uh, it's been a really rough day so far, even though we slept in a tad bit, like 20 more minutes. Uh, but it's still like, I'm feeling I look really tired. And I saw the McDonald's sign and I'm thinking, <laughs> should I go and gra grab myself a McFlurry? No, I'm not. Now we're going home to work and maybe I will go to the gym because I told you guys that I would bring you to the gym. I am actually not 100% sure just yet if I want to work out today or not because I promised myself a second rest day per week. I will see if I can manage to hold that promise to myself. <laughs> yeah. Might be hard because now I feel like I, I should be energized. I actually am not right now. So if I keep feeling this lethargic, I, I will not I, do it anymore. Uh, I uh, transmit the, the tiredness because I think I'm having a little bit of a cold, you know, in my body. Yeah, which I have had for the entire week, but he... Not is, complaining about it. Yeah, he complains <laughs> like a bitch and I don't, so... <laughs> just kidding. I'm a bitch. You're a bitch. No. You couldn't reach me because your boob was in the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, catch you when I decided upon the rest of the day. Okay, let's go chest and shoulders, people. I love to start with this one and really like activate my chest. I'm gonna start with chest. I'm gonna probably do these two and then two presses and then head over to shoulders. So let's make this happen today. Oh. Oof. So I'm gonna do five, which are like 15 plus 15 so it's high rep this is all to like really get a nice little blood circulation going and then for the last set i will amp it up and do a heavier set just to wake it wake the muscles up really thoroughly um and i think i want to do incline yes agreed yeah. okay freaking. guys it's freaking freaking cold i don't know if i want to take this one off but let's see if I can manage to have it off it's now it's two cameras on me it's you and then it's that guy over there Oh my god! Oh! How was that set? Ouch! Uh, yeah, <laughs> it burnt. Oh my god! The tank is on fire. Yeah, I can, I can feel it already. Let's see which press I'm gonna go to, but definitely second exercise. So, what's with my eyes today? I have had a fly in that one and four lashes in this one. Jeez. <laughs> So every single machine that I wanted to use was taken. That is absolutely what happens every time it's International Chest Day. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna do like two or three chest exercises. So I would just let it slide and take the one thing or the machine that I feel is the closest to what I was aiming for. And this works just fine. So let's hit some upper pecs. Cause I can tell you, I can really feel it. The only issue with this one is that I am kind of tiny and this machine is very wide. So I really need to really focus to get it in the angle and arrangements as I want it to. But it works, it's just not optimal.
not a huge fan. I will not lie about that, but I feel like it's still hitting where it's supposed to be hitting. Okay, uh, so last set is gonna be a six. Wow, that was very close, but it wasn't, right? <laughs> this new lens is wide. <laughs> it's wide. <laughs> okay, so the trick in this one is to like, I'm really trying to push the handles the arms, the handles, very close together. Uh, so I'm really targeting the, the pillows, <laughs> the pillows. I actually forgot to increase. I could have maybe done another earring, but that's about it. So next time I'm on this machine, I will try to do an extra earring. An extra earring or a 25 if I'm really cocky and aiming for a four. But a six, yeah, this was good. Uh, five sets down and I'm gonna see if I can possibly get a Smith machine. Alrighty, we are in a Smith machine. I have never done shoulder presses or incline press here in this one, actually. But the angle is quite nice and kind of smooth. Because this Smith machine is kind of angled going that way. Feels kind of good. But not fully sure, maybe I should be. feels nice and what I'm doing now first I want to find the perfect position for the bench and now I want to find the perfect uh, depth of my like how deep I go with my with my elbows because in some angles I only feel it in my neck so I'm gonna play around a little bit so this first set I'm not even calculate or counting because I just want to find the perfect Perfect angle for everything. Ooh. Okay. All right. First real working set. I've done a couple to figure out where I want to be in this machine. I'm not the biggest fan, but I'm still making it happen because, again, it's uh, a little bit busy on the chest uh, machines today. So here I am doing a little bit of a higher incline because I want to activate my shoulders as well. So. Strong wrists. Ten. Hi, yay, yay, caramba. Three more rounds of this and then heading over to more shoulders. Uh, so I'm gonna do the exact same regimen as I did last time outside. I'm mean, not last time, but outside in the press machine. I'm gonna do 15, 12, 10, 8, 6. So five more sets. This first one will be lighter, so it's really important to really control the motion. Alpha search is kicking in big time. I can hardly move my arms. Flex. I can hardly do that either. That's a solid flex. See if I can play with them. You think I can? No, I need to see first. Yeah, maybe. Is it playing? A little bit. I don't know how to do that. I'm just trying to learn. I need to see Sorry, myself in the. I need to see myself in the mirror. That's why, because I haven't fully 
grasp the mind to muscle connection on the playing part. I have it when I work out, but it's one thing to do it like decide which one to play at what time. That's not, not easy. Uh, moving over to um, around the world situation with supersetting ladder races. This will be a burn out for sure. And then I need to do a front and then that's gonna be it. Uh, so when it comes to around the world, I prefer going um, up to eyesight because I feel like I can really control the motion in my front delts and really like get that really full connection and range of motion that I feel comfortable with. I know uh, there's a lot of people also going straight up. For me, this one makes it way harder um, and it also fully engaged the front delt throughout the entire motion and not only, because when you go above, in my opinion, you kind of lose uh, the really nice pinch when you feel, when you're going there in the front delts. But that's how I work. Let me know down below how you prefer to do them, above your head or in front of your head. Let me know. Ten of those. Nine. Ten and ten of those. Ooh. Okay, rest. Ninety seconds. Let's go. Do you know what's quite interesting? And I'm talking both to you guys and to cameramen. Because when I got here this morning, I felt like, okay, I can see some water retention since this weekend of eating a little bit more free, but also from the IV, because I always kind of, after an IV therapy, I always get like a little bit of a, a water fluff, if that makes sense. But I just saw in this mirror that it's already flushing out. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I saw that it's flushing out because I saw that I had striations on the middle ab right there. So it could be a, at the end of this week, this could be a, a vein vascular Rain. party. Rainforest. Rainforest. I wonder if Henrik could add in when I actually have the sickest freaking rainforest. I will share that photo since my early competition days. It's actually kind of fun. I like that. And with that being said, one thing that I don't think that many people talk about is that your body will be, everyone will have different places where the fat is most pronounced or least pronounced. For me, my midsection is always my leanest. But what is also the thing, the more muscle mass and muscle maturity you got on a specific body part, the more vascularity and the more lean will that body part look like. So for me, I am slacking in muscle mass in my legs, so they are still holding on to a, a little bit more fat uh, than my upper body, because my upper body is really highly developed in muscle mass. Uh, so it's getting leaner than I've ever had it before. Wasn't that a good point to share? Yeah. I'm right, right? <laughs> right, right? Okay, so moving over to front races. I am not sure just yet if I'm gonna change the bar, but I'm gonna to start to try this one out. Oh. Okay, do you want me to do that? Yeah. Okay, so Henrik is giving me a very brutal superset. So I'm gonna do this and then jump down and do the shoulder tap push-ups. Because you need to break a little more sweat. It's very hard to sweat when you cannot keep your clothes on. <laughs> yeah. And it's winter outside. Yeah. I'm actually kind of cold. Okay, 10 
of those straight down to whew, these bad boys. make you break a sweat I don't know what will but guys that's gonna wrap this video up I'm gonna do four more sets of this and I will catch you in the next one how